Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Probe. Prosecute those who tortured me in Kenya. Nigeria. Probe. Prosecute those who tortured me in Kenya and Nigeria. Onamde Kanu Ride, Malami. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Onamde Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hype Up has made five demands from the Antony General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, over his arrest and torture in Kenya. Kanu was arrested in an African country believed to be Kenya and repatriated in June 2021. This was due to the agitation for the restoration of Biafra. He fled Nigeria in 2017 after Justice Binta Unyako of an Abuja Federal High Court granted him bail. However, the IPOB leader disclosed that he was tortured and subjected to inhuman treatment after his arrest in Kenya. To this end, the IPOB leader urged Malami to investigate and prosecute all those involved in his torture, in line with the provisions of the Anti-Torture Act of 2017. In a letter to Malami, Kanu said all those who tortured him during his arrest in Kenya and detention in Nigeria should be punished. He made the call in a letter signed by his special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, detailing how he was arrested and tortured in Kenya and Nigeria. Kanu also urged the AGF to ensure his protection while in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. The letter reads partly, in view of the foregoing, we hereby make the following prayers that consistent with the provisions of the Anti-Torture Act 2017, the Office of the Antony General take prompt measures to initiate the prosecution of all persons that were directly or indirectly culpable in the torture of our client. For your ease of reference, Section 5 of the Anti-Torture Act provides that a person who has suffered or alleges that he has been subjected to torture shall have the right to complain to and to have his case promptly and impartially examined by a competent authority. The competent authority under subjection, subsection 1, shall take steps to ensure that the complainant is protected against all ill treatment or intimidation as a consequence of his complaint or any given evidence. That the said prosecutorial action be levered in line with section 8 of the Anti-Torture Act which provides that a person will actually participate in the infliction of torture or who is present during the ad commission of the act is liable as the principal. Another form from a superior officer or from a superior in the office or public authority shall not be invoked as a justification for torture. The immediate commanding officer of the unit concerned of the security or law enforcement agencies is held liable 
as an accessory to the crime for any act or omission or negligence on his part that may have led to the commission of torture by his subordinate. In conclusion, we call your attention to the provisions of Section 1 of the Anti-Torture Act, which states that the government shall a. ensure that the right of all persons, including suspects, detainees, and prisoners are respected at all times, and that no person placed under investigation or held in the custody of any person in authority shall be subjected to physical arm, force, violence, threat or intimidation or any act that impairs his free will and b fully adhere to the principles and standards on the absolute condemnation and prohibition of torture said by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and various international instruments to which Nigeria is a state party. Unam Dikano, leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has made five demands from the Antony General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, over his arrest and torture in Kenya. Kano was arrested in an African country believed to be Kenyan and repatriated in June 2021. This was due to his agitation for the restoration of Biafra. He fled Nigeria in 2017 after Justice Binta Unyako of an Abuja Federal High Court granted him bail. However, the IPOB leader disclosed that he was tortured and subjected to inhuman treatment after his arrest in Kenya. To this end, the IPOB leader urged Malami to investigate and prosecute all those involved in his torture in line with the provisions of the Anti-Torture Act of 2017. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.